You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today Royal Decree 60 of 2018 forming the Capital Municipalities Council. The decree stipulates that Saleh Tahar Muhammad Tarada will be the council chairman and Aziza Abdurrahim Hamad Kamal will be its deputy chairman. Members include Dr. Abdul Wahid Abdul Wahab Ahmed, Dr. Maha Saleh Sena Shahab, Khulud Rashid Al Gattan, Dr. Lulwa Mutlag Rashid Mutlag, Mubarak Ahmed Mubarak Naimi, Engineer Muhammad Tawfiq Rida Al Abbas, Engineer Muhammad Salman Ali Al Hindi, and Engineer Huda Sultan Mubarak Faraj. They shall serve for the same term prescribed for other municipal councils. The Prime Minister and each in their capacities shall implement the decree, which takes immediate effect and will be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, who delivered a written letter from the custodian of the two holy mosques, His Majesty King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, to His Majesty the King, inviting him to attend the 39th session of the Supreme Council of the GCC hosted by Saudi Arabia. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques for the invitation, wishing the upcoming Gulf Summit success to strengthen the Council's march and achieve the aspirations of the GCC people. His Majesty hailed the wisdom of the Saudi monarch, his efforts to develop joint Gulf work and his leading role in consolidating security, stability and peace in the region. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts of the Secretary General and all affiliates of the General Secretary to serve the GCC march and achieve the desired goals. The GCC Secretary General expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome, commending His Majesty's directives to enhance the joint Gulf march. He also praised the Kingdom's efforts in that regard. As Ayani briefed His Majesty on the topics and reports listed on the session's agenda and the continuous efforts exerted by the GCC General Secretariat to enhance joint GCC cooperation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired an extraordinary session of the Cabinet at Libya Palace today. The Cabinet Secretary General Dr. Yasser bin Isa Nasser said in a post-session statement that His Royal Highness the Premier announced that the resignation of the government had been submitted to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa who will issue related orders. The resignation follows the official announcement of the results of the parliamentary election for the fifth legislative term in accordance with Article 33 of the Constitution of Bahrain that stipulates the formation of a new cabinet at the start of a new legislative term. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman said that the government has had the honor of shouldering the responsibilities entrusted to it by His Majesty the King and has endeavored diligently to achieve the objectives and aspirations that embody the visions of His Majesty the King and fulfills the wishes of the citizens despite the challenges, mainly economic, at every stage. The Prime Minister said that despite the challenges, the government has succeeded in maintaining the accelerated pace of the development process in the economic, educational, health and housing fields and has made many achievements thanks to the royal support, its work in harmony and as a team in addition to his fruitful cooperation with the legislative branch and the dedicated efforts of the citizens. His Royal Highness the Premier pointed out that the government has worked with full determination and resolve in order to implement the programs and priorities included in its action plan and has succeeded in achieving a great deal for the nation and the citizens, stressing the government's deep pride in the constant royal praise and the citizens' satisfaction. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that everyone is ready to continue their giving and dedication in the service of the nation and the people, expressing sincere appreciation to all members of the cabinet for their devotion and hard work, which he said reflected positively on the level and quality of the government's performance and the output in all their aspects. His Royal Highness the Premier extended deepest congratulations to the members of the new Council of Representatives for the confidence bestowed upon them by the Bahraini people, wishing them success in shouldering their responsibilities and carrying out their duties. Then the Deputy Premier, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, extended on behalf of the Cabinet members deepest thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his leadership of the government, which he said has contributed to attaining multiple achievements and overcoming challenges with wisdom and outstanding capabilities. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak asserted that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's follow-up and sound directives regarding everything related to the citizens and the government's projects benefiting them have resulted in achieving the best results and meeting the expected aspirations for the sake of the nation and the citizens. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa visited today the residence of the Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates to the Kingdom of Bahrain to participate in the celebrations of the United Arab Emirates 47th National Day. His Royal Highness was received by the UAE Ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness to participate in the UAE National Day celebrations. His Royal Highness expressed happiness in participating in the National Day celebrations, which affirms the deep-rooted ties and cooperation between the two countries. The Prime Minister congratulated the people of the UAE 
UAE under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan and the rulers of the UAE praising the achievements of the country in various fields. His Royal Highness affirmed that the relations between Bahrain and the UAE are well established and distinguished in light of the historical ties between the leaderships and people of the two brotherly countries. He expressed pleasure with the advanced level of bilateral relations in all fields and expressed hope that the next phase will witness further bilateral cooperation to benefit the two countries and the two people. His Royal Highness hailed the development and progress of the UAE with the determination of its leadership and people. The Prime Minister recalled the pioneering role and wisdom of the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan in the establishment of the United Arab Emirates to reach its current development. His Royal Highness hailed the UAE's supporting stances towards the kingdom, which reflects the solid bilateral relations. For his part, the Ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to the Prime Minister for attending the ceremony and noted that his visit reflects the fraternal relations between the two people and His Royal Highness's keenness to develop bilateral relations and cooperation. He stressed that the Bahraini Emirati relations are distinguished by their political, economic, and social dimensions and that they are witnessing continuous development thanks to the support of the leaders of both countries. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, made an exclusive statement after six women won parliamentary seats and four others emerged as municipal councillors. Her Royal Highness praised the high performance of the Bahraini women during their participation in the elections, both as candidates and voters. Her Royal Highness praised the Bahraini women's readiness to shoulder their national responsibilities as an indispensable partner in building Bahrain and the sustainability of its development. She expressed pride in the honorable outcomes of the participation of Bahraini women 
chairman in the parliamentary and municipal elections, expressing congratulations and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, who has been the principal supporter of Bahraini women in reaching advanced positions and assuming high-level national responsibilities. Her Rohan has expressed great delight at the unprecedented victory in the parliamentary and municipal elections, which coincides with the Bahraini Women's Day celebrated in honor of women as lawmakers and municipal councillors. Her Royal Highness reiterated sincere congratulations to the winners and appreciation for all women candidates, regardless of the poll's final outcomes, and appreciation for their efforts, wishing them success in serving the nation to preserve an elevated status. Her Royal Highness concluded her statement by taking pride in the level of culture and political awareness of the Bahraini society and believing in the Bahraini women's progress. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa on the success of a large group of youth candidates in the parliamentary and municipal elections in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that the voting process witnessed an unprecedented turnout and the youth's participation was proof of their awareness of the importance of the next stage and their role in leading the country towards further advancement in various fields. He added that the youth's representation of the parliamentary and municipal councils affirms the Bahraini community's confidence in youth cutters and their potential for excellence in the parliamentary field. Izana Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Bahraini people are fully aware of the importance of providing Bahraini youth with an opportunity to lead the country in the next stage for their ability to characterize the stage's outcomes. He expressed aspirations that the parliamentary and municipal councils will work together to enact legislations and laws and submit proposals that contribute to the advancement of the kingdom. His Highness noted that the democratic process in the kingdom represented the desire of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and the people of Bahrain to develop the country and support the democratic march. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that the success achieved in the first and second rounds of the elections drew the world's attention and expressed appreciation for the Bahraini democratic experience, hailing the presence of youth and their contribution to the development march in Bahrain. Bahrain Polytechnic hosted its 10-year anniversary celebrations ever since its establishment held under the patronage of the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Education and Training Development. The Deputy Prime Minister issued a statement on the occasion in which he expressed pleasure with the launch of this young higher education institution, which comes within the framework of the initiative of the Education and Training Development Project that started in 2005. He added that this celebration marks the 10th year anniversary of the establishment of the institution, which reflects the achievements made during its successful time and the objectives for which it established the educational practical and technical opportunities of its students to provide them with scientific and practical skills and expertise. It has proved through its education programs provided that it can meet the requirements of the labor market, both within the Kingdom of Bahrain and abroad. This was done in coordination, consultation and cooperation with companies, institutions and business owners in order to provide the market with the necessary expertise and disciplines required, which resulted in graduates becoming entrepreneurs or successful employers. He stressed that technical and applied education is not new to Bahrain. In 1960, the Gulf Technical College was established with the aim of becoming a regional college serving Gulf residents who are graduates of secondary schools, which can contribute to the full range of qualified technical disciplines in the fields of civil, mechanical and electrical engineering. He wished all graduates of the Polytechnic and the current student success. He also congratulated the chairman and members of Board of Trustees and the chief executive and staff for their efforts in elevating the name of the Polytechnic in an efficient manner, stressing his full support for its remarkable contributions to the overall development process in Bahrain. At the beginning of the ceremony, Bahrain Polytechnic's Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdelaziz Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in which he thanked the patron of the ceremony, Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak, for his patronage and continuous support to Polytechnic. He also announced the most important achievements of the Polytechnic, such as the output of its education, with labor market requirements and the strategic partnership between the Polytechnic and various sectors of the national economy. Sheikh Hisham concluded with the introduction of the industry portal platform which provides employers with access to specialized services and projects based on Bahrain Polytechnic's expertise in various disciplines which serves various sectors and industries in Bahrain. His Highness then officially launched the platform. The CEO of Bahrain Polytechnic, Dr. Jeff Zabotsky, delivered a speech in which he expressed his appreciation to all the Polytechnic partners, management team and members of staff for their achievements over the last 10 years. The event featured two short films and after honoring the participants of the film, titled The Polytechnic's Journey Throughout 10 Years, Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak visited the student project exhibition and opened the Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa Library Building in the university.
The U.S. Special Representative for Iran, Brian Hook, valued the continuous partnership between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States and hailed the huge efforts made by Bahrain in unveiling the evil activities of the Iranian regime in the region. Mr. Hook also accused Iran of stepping up violations of a U.N. ban on arms exports by sending rockets and other weaponry to rebels in Washington and Afghanistan rather, and Yemen. There are several new small arms of Iranian origin included here, such as sniper rifles, RPGs, AK variants, and hand grenades. These have been provided to us by Bahrain. Iran gave these weapons to militant groups to carry out attacks against the government. I would like to thank Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa for his commitment to exposing the Iranian regime's activities. The United States stands with Bahrain to protect its sovereignty and we will continue to work together to identify and intercept armed shipments in the region. This ongoing collaboration with Bahrain, which is home to the U.S. Fifth, Sli Fifth Fleet, is critical to the safety of the region. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments and Chairman of the Supreme Committee for the Election Integrity, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, praised the turnout in the second round of the parliamentary and municipal elections, stressing the lack of religious fatwas that could have limited eligible voters' choices. The minister was speaking at a press conference with the participation of the Executive Director of Elections, Nawaf Hamza, following the sealing of the ballot boxes in the various polling stations. The minister pointed to the strong competition among the candidates that included a high number of candidates and the impressive turnout of voters who were keen on assuming their patriotic duties. Sheikh Khaled added that the 2018 elections witnessed a major change in the general trends where the voters became the top focus of the process in terms of the evaluation of the candidate and the greater attention to the criteria of competence in order to choose the most apt candidate. He said there were three advantages to the current elections. The first is the distinguished presence of Bahraini women and the openness enjoyed by the Bahraini society towards the presence of women in the legislative branch. The second advantage is the presence of open constituencies in which all sectors of the society participate. The third feature is the active participation of the youth. There were at least 50,000 young people in the electorate. The minister praised the great role of the various state institutions, especially the Ministry of Information Affairs, and the media in raising voter awareness and contributing positively to the election. He thanked the Ministry of Interior for its great efforts and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for holding the elections and its diplomatic missions abroad, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, and the e-government authority. Sheikh Khalid concluded by offering congratulations, congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royalness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royalness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the people of Bahrain on the success of the elections. The efforts of ministers and institutions coordinated to conduct the elections processes smoothly in all its stages. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs coordinated with the 2018 Election Executive Committee to receive Bahraini citizens abroad to vote in the elections two rounds and 29 embassies, consulates and diplomatic missions abroad in 24 countries. The Kingdom's embassies and consulates took all the required measures to conduct the elections process smoothly. The Skills Bahrain team returns to the country after winning first place Asia-wide a gold medal in graphic design and a third place in a bronze medal in robotics. The delegation was received by the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Education for Resources and Services, Dr. Mohamed Mbarak Jum'a, a number of senior officials and their family members. Dr. Mohamed Mbarak Jum'a conveyed the congratulations of the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, noting that these achievements are the result of the ministry's efforts to provide citizens and students with skills on the informational level and develop their talents and create through various activities. For their part, the students express pleasure on this achievement for outperforming a number of countries that are advanced in the comp competition, such as Korea, China, and the UAE.